Michael Myers enters the building. That's Declan Townsend, always the character. Because today is Friday the 13th, of course. Going to be bad luck for one of them. Indeed it will be. Eric Lozano, the win last time. Rocky Johnson, the loss before that. The hat-trick against Smith, Grigsby and Long with. Taquan Townsend nicknamed the Tarantula because they say his fight style is similar to Anderson Silva. Silva is the spider, so Taquan Townsend is the Tarantula. Three-week camp for him, 75% of wins by knockout. He has never been finished. Known for his epic walkouts, we just saw another one. Needs to be careful of Reynolds' unpredictable style. Reynolds is hard to read, makes him a very dangerous fighter. The Tarantula has never lost by KO or sub. Every loss so far has been by judge's decision. Usually fights at 170, took this fight at 180 because of a lack of opponents. Here's how they stack up. Two years the elder is Marcus Reynolds. Both stand 6'3", one pound weight advantage to Taquan Townsend. One inch in the arms to Reynolds and one inch in the legs to Taquan. Let's go up to Cyrus Fees. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first the fighter on my right, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a striker, 76 foot three inches tall, weighing in at 180 pounds. His record: nine wins, seven defeats. Fighting out of Iron Fist Club, Hamtramck, Michigan. Ladies and gentlemen, the Iron Dragon, Marcus Reynolds. And his opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the right corner, also a striker, 76 foot three. Official weight, 181 pounds. His record, 5 and 2. Fighting for Musialago MMA, Lansing, Michigan. Give it up for Dequan, the Tarantula Townsend. <laughs> Referee Mark Kevin. Townsend versus Reynolds. Townsend with maybe the most protruding groin cup I've ever seen in the sport. Look how far it sticks out, Pat. Is he wearing a cup? <laughs> <laughs> All right. First, there it is. Look at that. It's a decent groin cup there. <laughs> oh, a little bit of kung fu footwork going on here from Reynolds. Want to hear the Bruce Lee? Whoop, whoop. Decent hit of hair on him as well, Reynolds. He's in southpaw stance here. Ooh, a looping high bolo punch off the left there from Townsend. I said this one could be a little crazy. Yeah. I don't know how much wrestling is actually going to happen in this one. Side kick to the knee there. Certainly a kung fu technique from Reynolds. See the little snap back fist as well. Another kung fu technique. A lot of uh, kung fu styles used. And that's a good way to counter it. Straight down the tube with a late hat. Yeah, Towns is not playing games here. And he's got the reach to deal with it. High right round kick from Townsend. Townsend does a good job when he sees uh, sees him coming. He's skating. Nice movement. Groin cup. That looks like he's growing a goiter between his legs. All right. Inside leg kick. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it, Pat. It's quite distracting. Double inside leg kick from the Kung Fu stylist. I thought about a scooping uppercut. Changes angles. It's always awkward fighting Kung Fu guys. In close, they use what's called sticky hands or trapping hands, which can be effective in mixed martial arts. Here you see some of the Choi Lee foot stylings, though, from Reynolds with the long fist approach. Townsend, really great job getting out of the way and coming back with counters. Yeah, Townsend's looking for the smack you in the face approach, straight down the center corridor. A little bit like Tommy Hearns. He does, doesn't he? Yeah, moves good. Looks a bit like Tommy Hearns too. Long, reachy, rangy. Yeah. Front kick there. High kick. <laughs> Reynolds, southpaw. Trying to put a little jab to the nose. 
Needs to throw his rear hand here, though. You know, you wonder if, if, if Reynolds actually right-handed, but because of his kung fu, he puts his right side forward. Would it surprise me, Pat? 3-2 combination there from Townsend. Catches him with the hook. Reynolds backed up momentarily. Grants in right hand. Townsend coming forward wildly here, and Reynolds survives it. Crowd appreciates it. Yeah, Townsend picking him apart right now. Slick. Side kick from Reynolds. Townsend, good job just staring right at the chest of Reynolds. Inside leg kick. Now Bruce Lee, one of the first real people to really propagate mixed martial arts training. He, of course, hailed from a kung fu background. It was Wing Chun kung fu. Taught to him by the late great Yip Man. He would later create his own style, of course, called Jeet Kune Do. Wing Chun, which was originally invented by a woman, by a nun. A tough nun. Yeah, very interesting background if you ever research a little bit of Wing Chun. Left took a game there from Townsend. Looks at the inside leg, Reynolds. Uppercut, round kick from Townsend. Reynolds swings wildly with his left. Yeah, Reynolds loading up. He was the one that said Townsend was the wild fighter. Not the case in this fight. Legs on Reynolds' pack. Tree trunks on him. No, he's thick, and he usually fights at 185. Did not like the idea of coming down to 180 to meet Townsend. Jab high kick, nicely done from Townsend. Shoots in the front kick, gets it parried and countered. Driving takedown! Grabbing the cage to get up. Reynolds doesn't want to go down. Last play to succumb through Stylus wants to pick his on his back. Final 10 seconds of what's been an entertaining round, if not technically precise, certainly been some exciting flurries. End of the round. Townsend, really slick counter punching here. Like I said, a lot of Tommy Hearns leaning back, getting just out of the way using those long arms to be able to poke. Look at that. Nice feints, fakes, getting out of the way. Great evasion, great footwork, coming back, landing nice crisp shots. Commission allows stools here, Pat. There are no stools being offered to either fighter between rounds. No, apparently not. Townsend and Reynolds, the Kung Fu stylist Marcus Reynolds. All part of XFC 27, Frozen Fury. From Muskegon, Michigan. Home of the Lumberjacks. Reynolds thought about that side kick. Off that lead knee of Daquan. Thought about a front kick. Thought about another front kick. Doing a lot of thinking, not a lot of action, and Daquan's just about had enough. Trying to switch up angles here is Reynolds. Reynolds just, every time he comes, he's coming with something. He's really not using feints and fakes. Any, anytime it's a big movement, you know it's for real. Towns is a little more slick with his feints and fakes. A little more subtle. Reynolds, who is also a Charlie Foot.
instructor. Sidekick from Townsend using that reach. What a posing here from Reynolds. Needs to start throwing a little more. Yeah, I was going to say, so make some great photographs of poses. But... Oh, good solid left hook there from Townsend. Spinning low kick looking for the knee. That lead knee seems to be the target that Reynolds is going for on Townsend. Right now it's the only thing he can touch. The crowd here in Muskegon are not sure if they're watching an MMA fight or a late 70s kung fu film. I lived on kung fu theatre. Oh yeah. yeah. Inside leg kick from Reynolds. Reynolds trying to mesmerize Townsend. And the Muskegons do not like. And neither does Townsend. Just slaps him on the side of the head and says, that's enough of that. Enough of the chi power. You wonder if Reynolds will tire from all of this footwork and also from carrying around that huge groin guard. Outside leg kick. Inside leg kick. Bit of Capoeira style footwork there and a low turning spinning kick. Another one from Reynolds. Looks Townsend. good. Ineffective though. Towns are starting to get annoyed. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah, Charles is just waiting though for the opportunity to throw one two down the center corridor. Maybe a three two. Tries for a counter uppercut off the left as Townsend. You know, Reynolds is throwing here, but there's just no starch, no real power behind any of these punches. Well, you, yeah, when you look at his jab, his, his elbow's way out, his hand's inside of his elbow. It's like a hinge on a door. There's no power in it. You're not lining up your bone structure with the rotation of your body. It, it just doesn't generate anything, and it's easy to block. Just put your hand up and parry it every time. Reynolds' hair getting a little wild here. Looks like he stuck his hand in a power socket between rounds. Hammer fist strike there. Got hit by a windstorm from behind. <laughs> Is he trying to nerve strike to the forearm of the left arm of... I think he's trying for Tim Mark. Feels like a 10 minute round. It does indeed. It's, it's, it's curious. I'll say that much, Pat. It's curious. Would he be the first fighter in history to finish an opponent, submit an opponent by Dimmark? I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> right hand lead there from Townsend. Oh, big left hand from Townsend. Backs him up He's now. Hurting. He's hurting. Reynolds is on rubber legs. Inside leg kick from Reynolds. Under half a minute remaining. Corner calling for Reynolds to let his hands go. I'm sure Townsend would like to, but he's, he's fighting the guy in front of him that moves very awkwardly. Tough to deal with. Want to be safe about things. Good catch of the round kick from Townsend. Reynolds a jab two, Townsend a front kick. And we're going to go into the third round. Are you enjoying this one, folks? What are your thoughts on this one? Let us know, hashtag XFC27. A little bit of kung fu fighting here. Uh, not scoring any points, but doing a great job looking good. Townsend doing a great job getting out of the way of stuff. What was that, Pat? Uh, I think, like I said, he's trying to chop to the uh, nerve bundle on the forearm. He's trying for pressure point strike. I literally think that's what he's trying to do, trying to damage nerves in the arms or something. Who's the big advocate of that one? Is it George Dillman? Uh, yeah. George Dillman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's not mention that. No. <laughs> yes, there he is. Choi Lee Foot and Shaolin Kung Fu's Marcus Reynolds. Townsend showing that he prefers the nerve, uh, the nerve bundle on the chin. 
the nerve five bundles to work. Five minutes to work. Five minutes to work. Let's go, baby. Switching. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. How does Pat Miller just score this one? Wow. 2018 to Townsend. Okay. Third and final round between Townsend and the Kung Fu fighter Marcus Reynolds, who looks like a kangaroo with a very big joey in his pouch. Cornerman and Reynolds. Corner said, uh, yeah, you need to take him down. Nice pat outside crescent kick from Reynolds. Best fight. Strike of the fight so far from him. Leaping tomahawk shot. Got him clipped, though, coming in. He was hunting for the collarbone. Well, we have four and a half minutes of this gloriousness remaining. Let's see what sounds like hide here. It's a strange one, Patrick. Oh, front kick to the midsection. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. One more time. 119. 19. That's why to stop the posing. Just stick your jab in his nose. Yeah. And another one between the eyes. Oh, look at this takedown attempt from the Kung Fu stylist. Shook our table. Did indeed. Ram Townsend back against the cage. They're grappling for the first time. Well, he's definitely listening to his coach in his corner telling him to get a takedown. Single leg here, double leg now. Oh, tank down from Reynolds and a short knee he, from that position. He was down. Technically uh, illegal knee. Knee from Townsend. This corner said Superman. Don't know what that quite means, Pat, from this position. Superman. Yeah. Don't forget, folks, Bama 14 tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern, here on Access TV. Paul Daly versus Romario De Silva. The return of Paul Daly. Townsend doing a good job of defending here so far. Knee from Reynolds, and again from Reynolds. Corking up the inside and outside thighs. Three minutes remains. Could be separated here. Referee could break them. Eight. There it is from Townsend of the sternum, and Reynolds backs up. Blood coming from the nose now of Reynolds. Outside leg kick from Reynolds, still looking for that lead knee. Townsend wants to be throwing that right hand down the tube against the south ball here. Reynolds not quite as bouncy after that takedown. Look how low the hands are on Reynolds. And Townsend cut off the cage. This is definitely the time to strike because Reynolds is tired. That's why he's trying to stay away from it. A lot of positioning, moving, grooving, and gyrating here, but not much action from Reynolds. That said, though, Townsend's got to cut him off. Referee maybe have a word with them. Oh, oh got him in the liver. This one's over. Bye-bye. That was beautiful. One strike. Liver kick. Good night, Irene. Perfect. That perfect. That was. That was slick. He circled right into it, too. Beautiful. Tell you what, there's a last minute nomination if there has to be one for the Barzi Awards for knockout of the year. Yeah. One single turning back kick to the liver. Let's have a look at it again. Walk right into it. Do that stuff up. I love you, Mom. It's for you. It's for you, Mom. Townsend was doing most of the damage with his hands the whole fight. You can see it. Circles right into it. Catches the liver. Perfect. You get hit with that in the liver. That heel, just like a ball peen hammer hitting you on the liver. And it hurts, trust me. Boom, right there, perfect. Added force to it by circling into it, lifted his arms. No more breathing for about two minutes. Tremendous knockout there. It was an interesting one.